Hey guys, what's up? It's Captain Esneas here, and today I'm going to be talking about how I broke into my own house and why I did it. But before that begins, I'm going to say that next week I should either have a video with AJ going up that is going to be pretty entertaining. Either way, it doesn't matter which way it goes, but it's going to be pretty entertaining. And then I also might have a detention video because I am getting that detention. Sadly, uh, the vice principal came in. He told me I was going to get that detention, but more on that later. So it's either going to be one of those two videos, and then the next video, uh, like whatever one doesn't get picked, is going to go up the following Sunday. So that's the plan for now, and let's get into this story. So let's start out. I think it was a Wednesday or Thursday or something. It was Easter break. I was with my dad, and I'd asked him if we could go back to my mom's house so I can get my longboard so I could longboard at his house some of the days. So he was like, yeah, sure. So after work, because I was working for him, after work, we went to my mom's house and I got my longboard, but I also wanted to get my skateboard. Now my skateboard was inside and there's usually a key outside the door somewhere, but I could not find the key. There's usually one spot where it is and my mom decided to move the thing that it was in so I could not get into the house and I was trying for like 10 minutes, tried the back door, front door, garage door, could not get into the house. So I just took my longboard, dealt with it and left. I mean, there were some other things that I wanted, but I told you I could not get into the house. So a couple days later, I asked my stepsister to bring me back to my mom's house so I could come here for school in the morning because school's a couple blocks away from my mom's house, but it's like miles away from my dad's house. So I like to be here on school nights so I can get to school easily. So I asked her to bring me here and she's like, sure, no problem. And I said, I might not be able to get into the house because I don't know where the key is. So she's like, all right, I'll just bring you back to your dad's if you can't find the key. And I texted my grandmother. I'm like, hey, do you know where a key would be? And she's like, hmm. Maybe on the far side of the garage, farthest away from the door, um, along that wall, and I'm like, alright, I'll look there. I looked up and down that wall like crazy, could not find a key at all, accidentally shattered a light bulb that was on a windowsill. Yeah, and then I got up on a ladder and tried looking very high up into the ceiling where there's some, like, boards that hold a couple, like, coolers and things. I could not find a key anywhere. So... I go outside and I tell my stepsister, hey, I can't find a key, and she's like, you want me to help? And then we spent the next five minutes in the garage, looking around under carpets and everything. Yeah, there's some carpets in my garage for whatever reason. We were looking under some carpets, we were looking along the wall, we were looking on some sh shelves, looking in bins, and just, we could not find a key anywhere. And then my sister's like, hmm, is there any other way you could get into your house? And I'm like, uh... I could try the back door real quick, try the back door, of course there's a piece of wood in the back door so nobody can get in. Uh, by the way, my mom was not home. <laughs> I forgot to mention that she works a, a job from 2 to 10 every night, well, just about every night. So my mom was not home when I was there. So I couldn't ask her to let me in, nobody was there except for the animals. And I checked the front door, and I'm just like looking around like maybe did she plant the key in the, the plants or something just where could this key possibly be and then my sister's like okay so is there any other way you could get into the house any windows unlocked and I'm like um all the windows have screen doors on them so the, like screens don't open up just the glass part does so air can get in but the screen on those windows never opens up so I was like no there's no windows in the house except for like the attic that I could get into but I would need like a ladder to get <laughs> on top of the roof and then I'd also actually I wouldn't even be able to do that because they're locked from the inside and you have to pull these tabs down and push it up at the same time to get into the attic so I was like god ah, there's there's not one there either so still I'm trying to think I'm like all the door I mean all the windows either have screens on them and they're locked like that and then I was like wait there's one window in the back that does not have a screen on it, and I remember talking about it to Finley because I was like, man, it's a hot day outside, it's hot in this house. I opened up a couple windows, and I'm like, I hope my cat doesn't figure out how to jump through that window because it's the only window that doesn't have a screen window on it. So we went over to that window around the side of my house, and yes, the window was unlocked, thank God. 
but I was like, how am I going to get in here? Because it was too high for me to jump, and Sabrina, my stepsister, was like, I'll just boost you up, like, step on my hands. And she boosted me up through the window, and I was like, uh, what now? And actually, my bench from wood shop was sitting right under the window, so I turned my bench a uh, long way, so, like, if I was to go through the window, um, I'd just kind of slide onto the bench. And that's what I did. I slid onto the bench instead of sliding and hitting myself off the floor, which would have hurt a lot, a lot more than the bench did. So I got into the house, and I was like, cool, all my stuff is still here. Like, whatever. I mean, I didn't expect it to go anywhere. And then I go up to the garage door, and I unlock it, or so I thought. I unlock it, then turn the doorknob, and it's actually locked. So that means the entire time that we were looking for a key, the door was unlocked. So I never thought to check the door the entire time. I never thought to check the door because I was like, the door's not going to be unlocked. It's going to be locked because it was the other day and my mom's not home. And she's really conscientious, conscientious? I, I don't even know, uh, about that. So she would definitely lock the door. Well, the, the door was not locked. I locked it when I came inside, and then I unlocked it. I'm like, hey, guess what? The door was actually unlocked the entire time. She's like, you didn't think to check that first? And I was like, no, because I thought it would be locked and everything. So, yeah, uh, that's the story about how I broke into my own house. I mean, everything was okay after that, you know. My mom got home, and I was like, hey, mom, guess what I did today? And she's like, what? What did you do? And I'm like, I broke into the house. She's like... What, 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 was the door not unlocked? And I'm like, no, the door was unlocked, but I still broke into the house. <laughs> She's like, oh God. And I'm like, I, I didn't know the door was unlocked. I didn't even think to check. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's the story about how I broke into my house. Um, if you guys like it, don't forget to like the video, uh, comment, anything you, you want to ask me about it, whatever. Like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Favoriting's not a thing, whatever. This outro is way too long. Peace out.